here it's a new chapter that is quantum dynamics <coughs> hitherto we have been discussing a system that does not depend on time here onwards we are going to discuss a system which used to change with respect to time so here i am introducing an operator time evolution operator okay actually time is not an operator time is a parameter so in last chapter uh we have been discussing some kind of operators like momentum momentum is an operator but here this time evolution operator is somehow different uh, from that momentum operator we usually represent a system represent a state by using a ket alpha this is state ket so far we have been discussing this state ket as time independent here onwards we are going to discuss this state ket alpha is time dependent so this we can represent in another form that is ket alpha equal to ket alpha comma t0 okay after a time or at a time t this state ket will change as this alpha t0 will change into a ket alpha t0 t okay this change has been happened during time t so what made this change there we are considering time evolution operator we are considering this change happened because of an operator that is time evolution operator and we used to represent that operator as u t t0 okay because of this operator this operator operating on alpha t0 that is equal to this operator changes this ket into or changes this state into another state alpha t0 t okay alpha t0 t let us take an infinitesimal time evolution operator as u of t0 plus dt t0 okay this will change a state alpha t0 into a state alpha t0 t plus dt so this is infinitesimal time evolution operator now we are taking this infinitesimal time evolution operator is in the form of u of t0 plus dt t0 is in the form of 1 minus i h divided by h cross dt okay this this infinitesimal time evolution operator similar to infinitesimal translation operator there we have taken infinitesimal translation operator as 1 minus i p divided by h cross dx and there were many procedures there were many properties which infinitesimal translation operator have and this 
form satisfies all of their properties similarly here also uh, similarly here this time evolution operator u of t naught plus d t t naught is satisfying the property of a uh, uh, property of time evolution meaning properties of time evolution operator and here we are taking 1 minus time evolution operator as 1 minus i h divided by h cross d t i am not explaining all of the properties all of the procedures here because um, this is similar to infinitesimal translation operator if you have more doubt you just verify you just uh, check how time evolution how infinitesimal translation operator uh, have been formed okay so directly i am taking here u of t0 plus dt t0 equal to 1 minus i h divided by h cross dt and here h is the hamiltonian 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 operator hamiltonian operator it is related to energy energy of the uh, energy of uh, each and every particle in a state okay that means mechanical energy mechanical energy means kinetic energy plus potential energy so this hamiltonian operator measures the total energy of a system this time evolution operator time evolution operator is u of t t0 and this kind of operators have the property u of t2 t0 that is equal to u of t2 t1 into u of t1 t0 okay this is operating from right side if you are considering any state get here first this operator this time oper uh, evolution time evolution operator operating on that get and later this u of t2 t1 will operate on that get so uh, in that way this operator is operating so this is one of the property of time evolution operator u of t2 t0 equal to u of t2 t1 into u of t1 t0 okay similarly u of t plus dt this operator t of t plus dt t0 operator we can we can write it as u of t plus dt t into u of t t0 okay this this u of t plus dt t we can write in this form that is equal to 1 minus i h is the hamiltonian divided by h cross planck's constant divided by 2 pi dt into u of t t0 okay so we can multiply this uh, with the terms in this bracket so that is u t t0 minus i h divided by h cross dt u t t0 okay so this we can take uh, into left side that is u of t plus dt t t0 minus u of t t0 equal to minus i h over h cross dt u of t t0 okay and then this step can be written as u of t plus dt t0 minus u of t t0 divided by this dt will go this side so dt and uh, uh, that is equal to minus i divided by h cross dt u of t t naught okay actually this is the definition of this is the definition of do u divided by do t do u divided by do t definition of differential of u with respect to u differential of u of t t0 with respect to time okay so t t0 equal to minus i divided by h cross dt u of t 
di seluruh oke okay. and this minus i divided by h cross h cross uh, can also take into the side that will lead this equation into this equation into i h cross i h cross dot divided by dou t u of t t zero equal to equal to h u t t zero this is the schrodinger equation of time evolution operator schrodinger equation for time evolution operator okay so this is schrodinger equation for time evolution operator this is a first order differential equation and when we are solving it we can take u t t0 equal to exponential minus i h t minus t0 over h cross if we can take this as a solution when h that is hamiltonian is time independent we are considering in this whole chapter as hamiltonian is time independent so we are not going for other solutions when it depends on time and all we are just stick to this point which is time independent throughout this chapter okay if we apply this schrodinger equation to some ket alpha we will get i h cross i h cross dou divided by dou t u of t t not is operating on some ket alpha t not we will get this is equal to on right side h u t t not t t not alpha t not okay that is that implies i h cross dou by dou t of this is independent of time alpha t not is independent of time so if we are applying u t t not into alpha t not get alpha t not we will get as get alpha t not at time t the state shifted into this uh, uh, state at time t using this time evolution operator that is equal to equal to h alpha t not t the solution for time evolution operator u t t not is equal to e raised to minus i h t minus t not divided by h cross is analogous to uh, our infinite uh, finite translation operator t of delta x x dash equal to e raised to minus i i p x delta x dash divided by h cross so this equation is analogous to this finite translation operator okay and this this equation this time evolution operator uh, u of t u of t t not equal to e raised to minus i minus i h t minus t not divided by h cross we can expand it as exponential e raised to minus i h t minus t not over h cross we can expand this as 1 minus i h t minus t not divided by h cross plus minus i whole square divided by 2 h t minus t not or h cross whole square plus etc and if we take t not equal to 0 then this equation will become this equation will become 1 minus i h 
t divided by h cross plus minus i whole square upon 2 into h h t or h cross whole square plus etc let us give number for this equation this is equal to 1 and this equation equal to 2 then this is another equation equation 3 that is uh, e raised to minus i h t minus t naught over h cross equal to 1 minus etc is equation number 3